Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at 6 starts now. Can it get any better? Another sunny and dry day across Metro Detroit this Memorial Day weekend. Thank you for joining us. I'm Will Jones in the weather pod with forewarned meteorologist Ron Hilliard and what a beautiful day and is this going to continue? It is going to continue. In fact, it's going to only get hotter out there, Will, so I hope you're ready for that. I love the yeah. heat. You might have to Bring take off <laughs> the suit coat jacket. Now, we are going to be seeing uh, some clouds out there this afternoon. That is going to give us a little relief, but it is going to still be very sunny all week long. Temperatures going up. We're talking about temperatures possibly getting up to 90 degrees. You've been hearing that number from us. So again, some of those clouds pushing in from the south. We saw that last night, the same scenario. Tonight, we're going to see partly cloudy conditions and across the area, the farther south you go, the more likely you are to encounter some of those clouds, but we are not seeing rainfall. These are the conditions across the region. Some of us mostly sunny at this time. A few of us have more of that sun and cloud mixtures you see right there. And then across the state and region, plenty of places seeing sunshine at this time right now. So what I do want to show you is a view into downtown Detroit. That's the riverfront. Port Detroit right there, 79 degrees pretty much across the area, just like the cooler 78 in Adrian. Those winds very light around five miles per hour. So this evening we'll see those temperatures slowly dropping off as we get after sunset. We'll see those temperatures dropping just a little bit faster, partly cloudy conditions. Midnight around 68 degrees. Now this is what a lot of people are thinking about tomorrow's weather. We're going to be around 60 degrees in the morning, getting closer to 80 degrees for lunchtime. By the early afternoon hours, we're in the lower 80s with some of us getting up to around 84 degrees. Those winds will be out of the east around 5 to 10 miles per hour, so very comfortable conditions. So the headlines for tonight and tomorrow. A few clouds out there, of course, this evening and later on tonight and tomorrow. Very sunny out there, very warm. Remember the sunscreen and Monday night, mostly clear and mild. Now I'm going to talk about just how warm it's going to get. I talked about that 90 degree number, but on what days will we be seeing that? And also, is there any rain in our forecast that will all be coming up shortly? But in the meantime, make sure that you have the forewarned weather app on your phone. You can get the accurate forecast for your neighborhood as well as the exact track 4D radar. All you have to do is search WDIB. Will? All right. Thanks, Ron. One of the biggest electronic music festivals in the world is taking over downtown Detroit. You're looking live at Hart Plaza as the Movement Festival continues tonight. As Victor Williams shows us, this is a big weekend for electronic music fans. Yeah, well, this is huge. From the looks of it, we have about a few thousand people celebrating day two of movement with good energy, good music, and overall a good day. What more could you really ask for? Anyone can come dance and have a good time. No drama, good vibes. For yet another year, the city of Detroit is the place to be for any and everyone involved in the techno world for Movement 2023. The people all around you, they're all one community, one family. You're enjoying the music, no judgment. You do what you like, you dance how you like. It's one big happy community out here, honestly. Add some sunshine and you've got the perfect day for everyone who spent their hard-earned money to make memories in Hart Plaza. This weekend is perfect for this type of event. Yeah, not too hot, not too cold. You got some breeze and it hits you just right. Yesterday we experienced some cold, so it's like honestly very, very comfortable. For Mylan Atkins, it's a family tie that keeps her coming back every year. Growing up in the techno scene, I'm a, a daughter of one of the pioneers. So it's really great to be back. I've been to pretty much every movement since they started. Under Cybertron, he created a lot of the techno classics that people know Detroit for. And the festival isn't showing any signs of slowing down soon. But it's so great to see so many people come together for the love of techno music and all of the different artists that we're, we're getting to experience. It's amazing. I hope it continues on for many, many years. And you know we'll definitely try to be a part of it for many years to come. And as you guys can see, more people are starting to pour in, which shows you that things are really just getting started. But remember that tomorrow is the last day of you are not able to partake in any of the festivities. It's so crazy also to know that in just a few days, all of this will be the backdrop to the Grand Prix. Victor Williams, Local 4. Looks like a lot of fun. Still more to come on Local 4 News at 6. We will be right back.